Hi everyone, my name is Amara and I am a third year medical student currently on my surgery rotation and I am here to talk to you about med school bootcamp. Now I was so pleased when bootcamp got in touch with me to collab on another video but this time instead of talking about anatomy we're going to be focusing on pre-clinical exams and for my American friends this is known as your USMLE step one exam. So if you'd like to check out the brilliant resource they created for anatomy then I suggest you click on this video here otherwise stick with me in this video where I'll be walking you through med school bootcamp the fantastic seamless resource that you can use to master your pre-clinical medical school exams which actually are a very hard set of exams. Now, before we even get into the actual website, I just wanna say how much I love the design of the website. It is so user-friendly and easy to navigate. Now, let's start studying with Med School Bootcamp. So as you can see, Med School Bootcamp is a comprehensive resource that will enable you to revise and master all these topics. I mean, there are so many. And don't worry, they also have you covered in anatomy because that is very important even when you're in your clinical rotation. For example, I'm currently in surgery and believe me, the surgeons love to quiz you on anatomy. So my next exams are gonna cover nephrology, dermatology, and psychiatry. So today I'm gonna be using med school bootcamp to help me revise these topics. Bear in mind, as you've just seen, you can use med school bootcamp to cover a whole range of different specialties, including cardiology and neurology. And in fact, let's check out the cardiology section. So, as you can see, for each specialty, Med School Bootcamp provides you with many different video lessons covering a whole range of topics, whether it's embryology, anatomy, or the physiology of that topic. Then, they also provide you with these bite-sized questions. And these bite questions are excellent for your basic factor and recall knowledge. So, essentially, kind of like an Anki. Then your board style questions, which are my personal favorite, are your more complex clinical scenario application based questions. These kind of emulate what you're facing your exam, so are an excellent way to prepare. This is so important because so many students think that they can score those top marks and ace their exams simply by um, rewriting their notes or reading their notes. And this is a completely passive way of learning. And in fact, research has shown that this doesn't actually help you store that information in your long-term memory, which you need during your exams. That being said, simply skipping ahead to revision questions can be really overwhelming and challenging when you haven't even gotten a chance to synthesize through the new learning. So you can rest assured knowing that Med School Bootcamp comprehensively covers all your revision. So in order to give you a complete walkthrough, I'm gonna be reviewing each of these sections in turn, starting with the video tutorials. I'm gonna start by doing a lesson on a very important topic that I've forgotten all about, the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. Another great feature are the tutorial handouts, which are PowerPoints that accompany the lessons. They contain explanations and helpful diagrams. These are a huge bonus for your iPod user, as you can annotate them. So this first video is just going to be a general overview of what is this system that we talk about when we say the RAS system and why is it important? So I've just finished my first lesson within the renin angiotensin aldosterone system tutorial, and it's asked me some summary questions. So I'm going to have a go at these to make sure that I really did pick up everything I needed to during the tutorial. Not bad. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the next lesson now. Of angiotensin 2 on the system. So just a quick review of how we got here. So I have just finished the renin angiotensin aldosterone system video tutorials and my gosh were they helpful. What I really liked about it is that the person who talks through the content always simplifies it to begin with and then focuses on adding more and more layers of content. That way you're not just automatically thrown in the deep end and you're slowly increasing how much you, information you're taking in. Something else that I'm really grateful for is that they always recap bits of information that you need to understand the new content, if that makes sense. So for example, just now we were talking about how the RAS system essentially acts to increase sodium chloride reabsorption in the kidneys. 
but I couldn't remember at all what transporters were the ones that are involved in sodium um, reabsorption and where in the kidney. So he went back and said, right, so in the proximal convoluted tubule, it's a sodium and hydrogen exchanger. In the DCT, it's the epithelial sodium channels. I really like this because what I hate doing and what I find overwhelming is when I'm trying to learn something new, but I don't even understand like the explanation and I need to keep going back and recapping old bits of knowledge to then understand the new bits of content. So by succinctly summarizing the whole topic and recapping those elements, you know what they're talking about and you're able to follow it through and understand it. Also, I really, really like the questions straight after the lecture because it actually made sure that you understood what was spoken about and it came up with really good feedback, which even if you didn't understand why you got it wrong, you then did by reading the feedback. And I'll come on to this later, but one element which I think no other platform has, which I'm so grateful for, is their 24 hour TA support. Now, if you have any questions about any of the content on Med School Bootcamp, for example, let's say you don't at all understand explanations as to why you got something wrong, or you don't understand a bit of content and you think it should be simplified, you can get in contact with them and they will usually reply within a few hours. So you feel really supported and like there's an actual interactive element to Med School Bootcamp. Now it's time to move on to reviewing the bite-sized questions. I finished dermatology around two months ago, so I definitely have to recap the specialty if I want any chance at doing well in my exams. But thankfully, Med School Bootcamp have split up this huge specialty into smaller sections. This means that I can specifically streamline my revision to cover topics that I find challenging rather than continuing to do topics that I'm already confident in. This is actually a common trap that people fall into because it's so much easier to do questions that you know you're going to get right and feel satisfying to do but sometimes you just need to force yourself to do the ones that you know you're going to get wrong. However, I do need a general recap on dermatology because I've forgotten a lot of it so I'm going to have a go at their general principles questions. I just finished the bite questions and I feel like they gave me a really good overview of dermatology from the definitions which are a huge part of dermatology because different types of lesions are named different things as well as recognizing the causes of pathologies. Now the other thing that I liked is that you could rate each question whether you were still learning it, whether you were reviewing it or whether you'd mastered it. This is once again good because it enables you to streamline your revision so that you can more often do cards that you are not so confident in. This is really good because it cuts down on the amount of revision you have to do every day because you can focus on the ones that you still haven't quite learned. I also like that there were high quality images included as well as once again very thorough explanations because if you don't learn and understand why you have gotten things wrong then how are you ever going to learn from your mistakes and start getting things right? Lastly, I'm gonna have a go at the board style questions for psychiatry. Now, medicine is all about pattern recognition. So the more questions you practice, which involve spotting different diagnoses and understanding what investigations to do and understanding the management plans, the more likely it is that you'll be able to recognize the complex clinical scenarios that you're gonna get in your exam so that you're once again able to apply those investigations or management plans. I actually didn't do too badly, I got six out of eight. I really like the questions. I thought they portrayed like a really comprehensive clinical picture. So they give you an insight into the patient's mental state and their psychiatric symptoms, as well as medical examinations. So remembering that psychiatry is a medical specialty so that you will need, as a psychiatrist, to review things like bloods, um, heart sounds, ECG. So they incorporated that really nicely. I mean, look how extensive the feedback is on each question. Depending on which choice you put down, if it was incorrect, they talk you through why it was incorrect. And once again, you have the learning, reviewing and mastered tabs 
if that is something that you want to use. I definitely will be using these to cover more and more of the specialties as I cover them. So just to reiterate, Med School Bootcamp does have that 24 hour TA support. Now, this is really good because a lot of the time professors can be quite unapproachable or doctors don't have time to go through content with you. I don't know how many of you guys have been in the situation, but I certainly have where I'm on Google like, typing out my questions and nothing seems to come up because it seems like Google doesn't understand what I'm trying to say. So it is incredible that Medical Bootcamp are able to offer this TA support where you can actively chat to someone about your concerns or anything that's going wrong with the content. And now for the bit that you've all been waiting for, you can get 30% off your Med School Bootcamp membership if you use the code IMARA30 at checkout. And now for the really exciting bit, I'll be giving away a full year membership to two lucky subscribers. If you want to have a chance at winning it, then you need to comment down below and I want you guys to comment what specialty you'll be using Med School Bootcamp to revise for, which is the one you struggle with the most. And you need to subscribe to Bootcamp's YouTube channel, which I will link down below. As always, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the post notifications and get involved in the giveaway as well as checking out the anatomy bootcamp video if you need an excellent resource to revise anatomy because believe me we all do i hate anatomy i'm so bad at it i need to get back on anatomy bootcamp see you later